What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 15 greatest Royal Rumble comedy spots. Now, you already know what to expect from this video. I'm pretty sure we're gonna see the tightest world slide in this one, man. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, Titus O'Neil in the greatest Royal Rumble, one of the, in my opinion, one of the worst Royal Rumbles of all time, runs down there full speed and ends up sliding under the ring. Probably one of the greatest, uh, funniest moments that's ever happened in a Royal Rumble. You know that's gonna be in here. It has to be in here. So I'm, I'm looking forward just to see that clip alone. I'm looking forward to this video, man. Titus O'Neil's World Wide Slide, bro. It was it was fantastic, man. But we're gonna check this out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Let's get right into this video, man. When people think of the very best Royal Rumble moments in history, they may think of the returns of John Cena and Edge, or Paul London's flip bump in 05, or the tear in Ric Flair's eye, but many of the greatest moments to ever take place in the Countdown Rundown Showdown have been the funnies. Lots of WWE comedy spots fall flat on their beak, mostly because true. Vince McMahon has the worst sense of humor known to man, but thankfully comedy writing is very, very, very easy with zero stress involved whatsoever, or at least that's what Sullivan tells me. Go watch Grubby little mitts for clarity this is going to be a list of pre-planned comedy spots rather than spontaneous moments of hilarity like rusev becoming tv champion in 2016 brock's <laughs> dancing and overall presence in 2020 johnny knoxville getting his brains bashed in by aj styles in 2022 or vince mcmahon selling his knees to saudi arabia mm -hmm. i'm tempest taylor <laughs> from parts unknown and these are the 15 <laughs> greatest the royal rumble comedy <laughs> spots ever and Love before it. we get on with our list make sure of course you that know you're subscribed to parts unknown so you don't miss any I of the royal rumble content spot. that Will has been be filling one? up the record recommendations of all of our fine subscribers this month. You can hit that subscribe button, enable notifications, and you won't miss a single one or else I'm going to throw you out of the ring. Honorable mention, Titus. Yeah, I know what I just said, but wow. come on now. Look at him trip. Who's to say this wasn't That's an honorable mention. I would have put that somewhere high on the list. It's just it's just him sliding under the ring. You've never seen that before. Like he literally just went straight head first. Just disappeared under the ring. One of the greatest moments in wrestling that entire year, bro. An elaborate spot pulled off to perfection by Titus, one of WWE's most finesse performers. <laughs> Look at him trip. 15, the Warlord. For 20 long years, the Warlord held the record for the shortest time spent in the Royal Rumble match. Up he steps, beats his chest, out he goes, his legacy defined forever, holding one of the worst Rumble records. The original Rumble comedy spot, and probably how most Ruthless Aggression era children were introduced to the Warlord, because where would we be without the By the Numbers Two video? Seconds. 14. The Bushwhacker Walk. You won't find many Bushwhacker fans here at PFK Labs. Maybe just Dave Bradshaw. They licked his head once. But the moment in the 1991 Royal Rumble match where Bushwhacker Luke walks to the ring like he's trying to air dry his soaking wet arms, is walked across the ring by Earthquake, is deposited what on the, the outside, <laughs> and returns to the back all in one motion is a job well done. I think I've seen that clip. Like, he's, he's doing a walk, gets in the ring, and doing a walk. Someone's walking him while he's doing a walk right over the ropes, and he's doing the walk right out of the ring, bro. That's fucking funny, it's dog. It's pro wrestling ridiculousness to a I team. think I've seen also, that Also, Bushwhacker Luke has more five-star matches than Kurt Angle. Don't know why I felt compelled to share that fact. I just felt chaotic today. 13, Scaredy Too Hotty. Scotty Too Hotty is a wrestler blessed with an extremely expressive face. It's the eyes, Chico. They mm. never lie. Usually, Scotty's eyes would be screaming excitement about doing everyone's favorite 1920s funk dance, but in the 2001 Royal Rumble, those eyes told a very different story. If you were to draw number 26 in the Rumble, you'd probably like those odds. But when you're Scotty Too Hotty and the only people waiting to greet you are Kane and The Undertaker, well, then you get this slow, terrified entrance as Scotty slowly accepts his fate while still dancing. The look, the dance, superb. 12. Hell, hell no. I would Kane and Daniel Bryan had tremendous... I'm like, damn, Kane and The Undertaker's in there? Damn it. <laughs> needed chemistry together during their run as a team and at the 2013 royal rumble they had another of their best frenemies moments brian dumps kane out of the ring because mm -hmm. he was always the little bastard of the duo but immediately afterwards brian himself was ejected from the ring landing in the waiting arms oh, of yeah. his recently betrayed <laughs> partner funny. they stare longingly into each other's <laughs> eyes as the crowd becomes a frenzy brian demands to be put back in the ring and for a moment it looked like kane would comply only to drop brian mm -hmm. resulting in this perfect reaction shot daniel bryan still 
one of the funniest wrestlers of all time. No, that you hear him talk about bears? <laughs> Crazy. That was a good Number 11. Moment. Vicky Guerrero is excused. You know who people really hated in 2008? Vicky Guerrero. Mm -hmm. You know what people really hated hearing in 2008? Excuse Vicky Guerrero me. screeching, excuse oh me. In 2018, for the first ever Women's Royal Rumble, the one that was 50% surprises, all of the women involved decided that they just weren't going to tolerate Vicky's fury and all ganged up to eliminate her in the safest way possible. There aren't a lot of expertly planned spots in the first Women's Royal Rumble, but this was certainly one of them, giving the crowd mm -hmm. the biggest laugh of the match. What a way to come in and get paid. Walk out, yep. scream, walk back, check please. What that was an easy payday for her, bro. Genius. 10. Announcers pretending. And now here we have a moment so funny they had to do it twice. WWE's commentary has not been its strong suit for a long time. Other commentary highlights from Rumble's past have included Matt Stryker alerting us all that Booker T's return was a mark out moment. I'm marking out, bro. And well, they'll <laughs> never be able to get the big show over the top rope. While we often spend time wishing we could forget what the commentators say, this is an example of the commentators wishing we could forget what we saw. In 1997, Jerry Lawler entered the Rumble from the commentary position Position, only to be promptly eliminated by Bret Hart, <laughs> landing on his face and returning to the desk, pretending the whole way that nothing had happened. While 15 <laughs> years later, JBL did precisely the same thing in 2012, yep. with both men practicing the <laughs> philosophy of if you pretend it didn't happen, maybe everyone will just forget. Number nine. He see just hopped over, you know, oh, it's time for me to go out there. You know, see, so he goes out there, gets eliminated. Ah, man, that was crazy. And then back to the action, starts commentating the action. CM Punk saves the Royal Rumble. CM Punk's run as the straight edge savior on SmackDown was superb, but the mm -hmm. most fun times we got were when Punk would interrupt a match's scheduled proceedings to provide a sermon to try and save the filthy masses watching, and in this case, wrestling him. Punk enters third and eliminates Evan Bourne and Dolph Ziggler, grabbing a microphone and being his Charles Manson Punk self. Then Zack Ryder made his entrance, only for Punk to tell him that he could be saved before bopping him on the head. <laughs> the whole sermon was a ton of fun, but Zack Ryder getting bopped on the head like a field mouse was he <laughs> slapstick comedy in a great rumble number eight otis saves mandy if anything is gonna save you in a, a lot of people was head over heels for this otis mandy love situation it, 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 it took a life of its own Royal Rumble match, it might as well be true love. It is still wild to believe that the best storyline going into WrestleMania mm -hmm. 36 was the Otis Mandy Dolph love triangle. Along the way, that Shakespearean romance took a number of turns, with one such moment coming in the 2020 Royal Rumble. The women's rumble, that is. Mandy was booted off the apron and appeared for all the world that she'd been eliminated, only for the camera to reveal that Otis had slid out from under the ring I to you. A lot of y'all were saying, it should have been me. <laughs> Use his wide base to save Mandy from hitting the floor. Otis is an entertaining fellow, and even though I'm sure he could manage it if put to the real test, he couldn't save Mandy and Sonya from elimination shortly thereafter. Maybe it wasn't meant to be at all. We did just kind of never hear about them again after a while. Yeah. Number seven, Ambrose and Ellsworth. For just a bump, this is far from funny. But as a payoff to a months long story, yeah, this is pretty great. Dean Ambrose had taken SmackDown's homeless turtle, James Ellsworth, <laughs> under his wing in 2016, helping Ellsworth to get a few cheap wins over AJ Styles, only for Ellsworth to turn on Dean because Ellsworth actually thought that he could actually beat AJ clean. He didn't, and by the time the Royal Rumble came, it was time for Dean to get some payback. Ellsworth enters to face Braun Strowman, the man that squashed him in the first place, making his chinless face go viral, <laughs> and then Ambrose entered behind him as Ellsworth had yet to enter the ring. Dean said, let's go in on three, and proceeded to watch Ellsworth be fed to a grizzly bear. A grizzly bear not content with just tearing him to shreds, but choke slamming him over the top rope yeah, to the floor. That, That's a murder. He, I want that was a bro that was a brutal spot, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. That that spot was uh uh that spot was kinda cold, bro. You choke getting choke slim from the ring all the way to the floor mat below. Definitely kinda painful. He's dead. He's killed him. <laughs> Number six. Billy Kay for hire. After the ill-advised breakup of the Iconics, Billy Kay tried to offer her services to anyone who would listen to her. One such time, perhaps also ill-advised considering the stakes involved Billy, was during the 2021 Royal Rumble match. Rather than entering the ring, Billy Kay, another very entertaining individual, elected to instead hand out resumes to all the entrants as Not they passed resume, her. None yeah. of them took her up on it, but maybe Mickey James saved one and gave it to Impact later that year. I felt mean. I didn't, 
I didn't wow. like that. Don't fire people during a pandemic, y'all. Number five, <laughs> there's a light breeze coming through. Triple H's return for the 2002 Royal Rumble match was pretty legendary. His Madison Square Garden return on Raw mm -hmm. remains the best denim on denim look in WWE Bad history. Denim but when he walked look. to the ring to stand face to face with former frenemy Steve Austin, it didn't feel like things could get any better. Then we got one of the best comedy spots in Rumble history. Rather than following Triple H with someone like a Kurt Angle, the Hurricane made his Royal Not Rumble debut, sizing up the game and the Rattlesnake and trying to choke slam both of them at the same time. He totally succeeded, totally won, and totally beat. Chris Jericho at WrestleMania. But also in this timeline, Trips and Steve no sell being goozled and immediately eliminate the tropical <laughs> storm like it was a light the breeze. Hurricane. Number four. Where's the briefcase? Adam Blompier's favorite wrestler, R Truth, has been hitting miss as a comedian in WWE. I know Adam won't like to hear that his favorite wrestler, R Truth, has had misses, but it is true. Thankfully, Adam's favorite wrestler, R Truth, had one of his best moments in the Royal Rumble match in 2016, this was funny, having bro. never recovered bro, from. Bro, he, bro, he set up a ladder, bro climbed it it was looking for the damn briefcase in the middle of a royal rumble match this is why i say our truth is a chill being mentally shattered by losing to john morrison in 2011 happens to all of us really adam's favorite wrestler our truth pulled a ladder from under the ring climbed it looked up and loudly asked where's, where's the, briefcase? the briefcase i also get money in the bank in the royal rumble confused the matches are very similar that Number was three, great poor heath slater no one likes a sore loser especially when it's baron corbin corbin did not take well to being eliminated within minutes of the start of the 2018 Royal Rumble mm -hmm. and took that frustration out on poor Heath Slater, making <laughs> his entrance kids. just trying to earn a way to WrestleMania to feed all 19,000 of his kids. I wrote 19. I don't know why I said 19,000, but hey, maybe by now. All the heels give Heath a boot or something on their way to the yeah. ring. <laughs> this Carl was funny, bro. He was just getting beat up before he even got in the ring. <laughs> Damn his kids. ...for the match. What a lovely man he is. The spot lasted like a third of the match, and yeah. then finally, Sheamus took the initiative to get Heath into the match properly, only for the, the spot kid. to be paid off perfectly, yeah. with Heath eliminating the White Warrior in seconds. On his birthday, Bro, that's number cold. two, Santino wasn't ready. Um, for 20 long years, the Warlord held the record hair. for the shortest time spent in a ready. Royal Rumble match. <laughs> that was until 2009. Santino Morella has a pretty interesting track record in Royal Rumble matches. 2008, he goes face to face with Taker and HBK before posing and eating a super kick. 2011, he almost won the thing. 2012, he had a sock puppet duel with Mick Foley that was long listed for this one. He is awful in the 2020 Women's Rumble. Whoa. And then there is this, this perfection. From the precision required to actually be eliminated in just one second, mm -hmm. to the impeccable camera work capturing Santino's face immediately after, to the classic, I wasn't ready. This is one of the best <laughs> Royal Rumble moments full stop. However, if you want pure comedy, who better to look to than a true comedian? Number one, Drew Carey. The 2001 Royal Rumble is a perfect piece of Attitude Era wrestling. This match from start to finish is a joy, and it has a number of great comedic moments peppered throughout, including one we've already mentioned, but mm -hmm. nothing compares to the payoff of the night's show-long angle, Drew Carey competing in the Royal Rumble match. <laughs> Both of the Hardys find themselves eliminated from the match as Drew Carey makes his entrance, and you can isolate any bit of this. Drew's reaction to seeing Kane, mm -hmm. Drew hopping the top rope to escape, but watching Drew Carey try to pay off the biggest and reddest of monsters in the middle of the ring in a Royal Rumble match is a Royal Rumble funny that has yet to be topped. And that's our list. Make sure, of course, that you like this video, subscribe, and enable- That wasn't bad, man. I enjoyed that one. For me, I honestly, I probably would have put the, uh, the R-Truth one higher up, maybe number one. I definitely would have put uh, Titus O'Neil sliding under the ring. I definitely would have put that higher up on the list. But for sure, the R-Truth one, only because he legit brought a ladder, set it up, climbed it, and asked, where's the briefcase? You can't tell me that shit ain't hey, fucking I love our truth, bro. Our truth is a gem, man. Comment down below. Let me know your favorite uh, rum or Royal Rumble uh, comedy spot ever in WWE if they did not list it here on this list. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on my channel. And I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.